What's going on guys, Sir Lucas here, and today is the day I finally got Dark Matter. I finally got it guys. So in this is a little it's kind of a some gameplay of getting it slash what you can do to get your knife diamond. Now Probably the easiest thing to do is, it doesn't really matter how you get your 200 kills before you unlock the other camos. Uh, so, Nuketown, like the permanent Nuketown maps, or just running around doing whatever, it doesn't really matter. As long as you get those 200 kills, it is going to be fine. But once you hit those bloodthirsties, you should probably head across to Nuketown and uh, you should expect to die a lot. You'll see me die a lot in this video, and I there there is no way of getting around. Like you will die. You have a freaking knife. They have guns. You will die. Now, don't be afraid to camp, cause I camp like a absolute bitch. Um, and uh, it camping does get you killed sometimes, but it also gets you your goddamn bloodthirsty. Now. Uh, I'm using the the heat wave with the the flamethrower dude, so he can. It's just like a massive concussion grenade, and it's so good. Like I haven't actually, I haven't, I haven't done it with the knife, but if you run in, pop it. If you're behind enemies, you can get multi kills, and I think I've got a, a triple kill once, but not nothing major. Uh, but you've you got to be really, really sneaky with your movements as well. Like, oh, it's it's really hard. Like, I die right here. Like, it's you, you, you just expect to die. It's it's going to be crazy. But stick to it. Don't be, don't be, yeah, don't be afraid to camp. Uh, you've got to have all the all the right perks on, which I will show you later. I actually, get stuck on the bed. I'm trying to run, but in Black Ops 2, you could just walk over it, but apparently you have to step onto it now. But <laughs> It was fine. Uh, this guy had a knife, and I knew uh, I just let him come to me. Just let me come to me. Um, yeah, the perks are essential, and I will get to them later in the video. But yeah, so the, I finally got it. Oh, it took me about five months, and I'm not even joking. And the grind is finally over. I was getting to the point where I thought it would never happen, but yeah, just stick to it. Um, and yes, we're, so we were playing on Kill Confirm, and I actually got my five bloodthirsties in uh, two games. I got uh, in this one, and I've got the very last bloodthirsty where I actually unlock the dark matter here in a second from that second game. So yeah, I was just camping, uh, just Kill Confirm, so it was nice and easy. And yeah, I ended up almost getting a, a Ruthless, which is for like 15 kills. Yeah, I get two Cerberuses, drop a few care packages for some teammates, it was just handy, um, but yeah, so, oh, I swear to god, those pistols were the hardest thing for me, knife wasn't even that hard, knife wasn't that hard, um, I think that honestly the hardest thing with the knife was getting the uh, five backfire kills, so you stab someone, you pick up their knife, and then you have to find them and you have to kill them. Uh, there was also, you had to get five revenge medals, so you stab someone, and then, so you die, and then you've got to go out and find that person, and then kill them. Which will just happen in time, it'll happen in time. Then you've got to get, uh, five, su uh, survivor medals, which is, pretty much, if you're coming at someone from the front, you're gonna get shot with a few bullets, you're gonna stab them, you get a survivor medal, and you just gotta get five of those. Another thing that'll just happen over time. Uh, another thing is you got to get 10 backstabber medals. Another thing that will just happen in time. Most of the time, you just walk around. And I, I was really stealthy and sneaky, and instead of cutting straight up mid, I'd try and flank and come behind and get those backstabber medals pretty easily. And also, that's what this heat wave is so handy for because, like, if like right there, boom, done, backstabber medal. Like, it's it's just good keeps me in that place and yeah they they go down hard but yeah so uh, so 
that. <laughs> but yeah, so there was the so you've got the the five back uh, the five survivor. You've got the five backfire ones. The ten uh, the ten backstabbers. The five revengers. And then you just have to get five bloodthirsties, which is five kills without dying. And yeah, Newtown is definitely the place for this. Um, get a sneaky last kill cam. I ended up going 28 and 11 that game, so I thought I did alright. But yeah, so I got a bloodthirsty and I got a merciless, which counted as two, so which was good because back in the day you had to die and it wouldn't count. So. I'm glad they fixed that. But yeah, here's the very next game. It's on Hardpoint. And this is just my very last bloodthirsty I get. So I should have died here. I should have died. I don't know how I didn't. Um, go and stab that guy in the back. Try and freak him out. But all of a sudden, all my teammates just died in this area. And apparently I was in their spawn point. And it like I, I was camping in this building, hoping they'd come to me, but then I, I turned out being in that spawn point. So yeah, get him, and it, like that, I'm camping, but every time I kill him, I'm changing rooms because he's expecting me to be somewhere. So like, look at this, I should die. Uh, how'd you not kill me, bro? And yeah, again, just change where like change where you camp, because uh, they will come back to you. They will come back, and so. Hardpoint actually drops into this room, and bam, gold. Ah, oh, greatest moment of my life. Look at me respawn. Oh, I was just. Oh, my teammates were probably wondering what was going on. But yeah, I was. I was so excited because like this is a big deal for me. Uh, this is the first Call of Duty I will ever master prestige in. Uh, get diamond everything. So it's pretty big for me, which is which is good. And so yeah, here's the the class that I was running up. Just uh, just knife only combat knife. No lethals or tacticals going on. Uh, they're just waste of space. I've got six cents, which you probably noticed, and it's so handy. It is so handy. You can tell what way they're coming from. Overclock, so I get my heat wave back even quicker, which is which is really good. Uh, then we got fast hands because it, it's actually 0.5 seconds quicker with fast hands like the mini lunge Which is really really handy. We got hardwire which has saved me so many times because the amount of times I've snuck up behind people They've got shock charges and trip mines. Oh, it's hardwire is so good. It's so good and Then I've got awareness on so awareness paired with six sense is so good because I can hear them I can see where they're coming from, but if they've got hardwired on then awareness kicks in I can just hear where they're coming from as well and then just blast presses so I'm all sneaky and stealthy sneaking around the map so yeah that is pretty much it the whole setup if you are interested in doing that I hope these little tips worked out and helped I was running concussion grenades for a while and I didn't have overclock on but I just found it to be not as good and here's a few guns I got the brekkie uh, and I have the CUDA I should have the SVG next yeah there we go got the locust as well ah oh, so happy Sorry. got the locust then we got the KN which doesn't really actually look that good I know there's a few cameras on the KN that just don't work because that big black thing and then the Razorback. So yeah, there's a few guns. Uh, I know most of you guys probably already have Dark Matter, but I don't. So I do now. <laughs> but yeah, so now I actually finished getting Dark Matter four levels away from Master Prestige. So have a guess what I'm about to do. I'm about to jump in and by the time this video uploads I will be a master prestige so I timed it pretty perfectly I got dark matter and prestige master on the same day so <laughs> I am keen as being so yeah just fire break with the heat wave anyway thanks for watching guys and I shall see you in the next video